what's happening gang we are getting into the Kizgi KM50 vehicle super probe and we're going to use the one of the sun stars to show you its functions but as soon as you open it up you've got your owner's manual which tells you everything that it does in nice good plain English You have your battery leads to power the unit. You have an extension that is used with the piercing probe, which does screw in and out so it's hands-free. On the 50-foot cable, you have a ground so you can check resistance between two points. And then you have the standard probe like most probe types have and we'll do a little comparison between a standard voltmeter and the KM50 the Kizyi KM50 much like the others and I'll insert where I mentioned this one was coming right here I have a couple of companies that I trust like Kaizy and Ansel. Okay, so you guys saw, I had mentioned this one was one of the ones that uh, I wanted to check out. So, um, you have your mode button and you have your sound on and off. And then you have your light button. You have two LED lights at the tip. Quite simply, that just pops in there. Or if you're using the piercing probe, you pop one end, and these are spring loaded to help keep them clean. Just pop one end in there, and then the other end just pops into there. And that'll give, like I said, gives you your hands free capabilities. So. We're going to start with that. You cannot plug this in wrong. It has a square D and then a circle. Just match it up just like so. Make sure you drive it all the way home. I'll see you guys over at the Sunstar. Make your initial connection. It's as simple as positive to positive and negative to negative. And yes, I did just install a new battery in Sunny. As soon as you plug it in, it's going to default directly to DC. It's got a nice color screen. So if you want to go um, waveform, let's just go through the modes first. Let me get the manual out so that I'm telling you the modes correctly. Let me get to the right page. Okay. Right here. I'm going to leave that on the screen. You guys can pause it and read that. That's many of the functions that this will use. The main thing that I want to show you guys on this is the waveform. So we're going to go over to the regulator rectifier for that to see if we can measure uh, amperage that is being delivered back to the battery. I may stumble a bit getting the right connection in the right spot. So I'll do that off camera so that I actually look like a professional. <laughs> Sometimes I do have to juggle around a little bit. but. Right now, I'm going to show you the different modes and also the um, screen functions. So you see right here, we've got a speaker. Push that. And that should shut the speaker off. Here we have positive.
okay it's not shutting it off see that's one of those read the manual things uh, it's a long press I just shut the lights off there I'll turn them back on there we go so it's a long press until the speaker goes off there there's a red X on it now so I'll turn it back on all right then we have our modes and our rocker switch and there's an internal circuit breaker so when the circuit breaker trips if you've shorted it give it time it'll reset but you can still do other testing even with the uh, trip even with it tripped oh we got the ASMR uh, obligatory ASMR take the screen protector off here I just happened to see the corner of it there I think is it is it a screen protector I hope it is yep it is there we go Yeehaw. That left a little bit of residue on it that I'll have to clean off, but we can still see it. All right, your different modes. <clears throat> so right now, I'll put it on there showing 12.58. Now we'll go memory. This allows us to go up and down and select volts DC, volts AC, and that is not. Um, that is not. Here goes the voice. The Volts AC is not household current. A lot of, like the fuel injectors and stuff like that on automobiles, runs a low voltage AC, and that's what this will measure. We can measure AC voltage at the stator wires coming out of the stator going into the regulator rectifier which is what we'll do to show the waveform but you have volts DC volts AC your frequency in other words Hertz you can measure like say your standby generator to make sure that you've got it dialed into 60 Hertz that type of thing your duty cycle fuel injection ohms of resistance, diode test, and back up to volts DC. So give me a minute and we're gonna start it. Excuse me, we're gonna start it and we're gonna measure volts AC on the stator. And there's our waveform right there. Okay, now if I press and hold, it should switch to digital, but we still have digital showing down at the bottom here. So give me just a minute. All right, gang, we're going to show you a little trick on this KM50 Kizyi. We're going to measure AC voltage using this waveform screen, which is going to give us our voltage. Uh, in minimum and maximum and it'll show us an actual wave you won't be able to hear me when I'm doing this but the stators in these are AC that are converted to DC through the regulator rectifier so I've already got my ground connected down here to the engine this is also grounded here and then either side of this regulator rectifier is the AC side and then the DC output is in the center so we're going to start it and we're going to show you guys the waveform function on this then we can get uh, this video edited and uploaded uh, it's been a long time waiting let's start the engine I need to get around to the other side
as you can see, uh, it jumped up to 50 volts AC. Uh, minimum was negative 37. Maximum was 63.8. So, really neat feature to have. It also does a very good job of uh, testing uh, fuel injectors and diodes of varying types. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description to where you can get this. This is one that I mentioned some time back that you guys will see a quick clip of uh, that I'll insert earlier on in the video. All right, I may have already gone through the different functions on it, but we have volts DC, we have volts AC, we have frequency and hertz, so we could check something like a generator. You can see the top of my Yamaha generator over there. Um, duty cycle, you can check. Fuel injection, you can check. Ohms of resistance, diode check. So, as you can see, quite a few functions wrapped into a tiny little package. And then again, don't forget if you're on volts DC, you can put DC voltage to, there we go, you can put DC voltage either positive or negative by flipping the rocker switch. There's your positive. There's your negative. So, when you're doing that, you want to be sure to hit the rocker switch before you touch the probe to the work. There you go. Pretty neat little package. Promise you guys. See you when I see you.